Uh, well, I never thought I'd stand here um, and, and then have to, to say a thank you word uh, in the same way that the Oscar winners do. Um, uh, I will thank my mother, but I do that a little bit later. Um, <laughs> I, I learned today uh, a couple of things. I'm a music lover and I, I learned two things today. One is uh, immediately when the news was announced on Twitter, somebody said to me, do you know that Will I Am has a number that is called Hall of Fame? So that's, uh, uh, that's something we should try and, and uh, listen to tonight. Uh, the other one, of course, is that I finally got the meaning of uh, the Oasis number uh, standing on the shoulders of giants because, uh, as has been said before, that's how I feel I am here. It was 1987, uh, I had just finished my PhD during which I had implemented the IP protocol on some PCs and uh, my boss, uh, whom I own, uh, to whom I own very much, Case Nagers at that time, Case by the way is also uh, an inductee in the Hall of Fame, he sent me off to an internet meeting in Boston and I arrived in Boston in a hotel uh, checked in, came downstairs and feared, what shall I do for dinner? And there I run into Vin Cerf, who didn't know me, of course, but I knew him. And, and I, so I, I boldly introduced myself and Vin said, hey, you want to come to dinner? And I said, well, yes, please. So he shoved me into a, a cab and I turned around and I was sitting um, beside uh, John Postel, Steve Crocker, and in front was Vin Cerf. <laughs> the rest, as they say, is history. Um, so, then let me start by thanking a couple of people, um, first of all my parents without whom I wouldn't be here, um, and, and they always uh, inspired me to, to think independently and I think that's um, one of the main things you can teach your children. Um, uh, of course my family, I've been away a lot and uh, they've always put up with that. Um, my children never understood what I'm doing. They still don't under understand what I'm doing here, but one of my daughters remarked, great that you go to Hong Kong, you can buy me a fake Gucci bag. <laughs> and my employers, NOB, TNO, gave me all the uh, freedom to do whatever I needed to do. Uh, but most of all, SurfNet. I, w I used to work there from 2000 to 2012. I came back two years ago as CTO, and this is a company that always has uh, worked to build a part of an open, trustworthy, and accessible internet. And that is exactly what I think I've been doing uh, over the last 30 years, helping to create that open, trustworthy, and accessible internet. Uh, I met many fantastic, motivated, uh, driven, and especially fun people in the process, a lot of whom are in this room. And uh, it, it really inspired me to work even harder on this. And um, I really um, thank you all uh, for being here and being my colleagues and working with me. And last thing I want to say is that mid last year, I got incredibly angry when I realized that I've been building this open, trustworthy and accessible internet. Well, that's what I thought. And that governments have started misusing this same internet to spy on their own civilians. This is not what we build the internet for. So please, Let's continue our work and make sure that governments don't misuse it in this way. Thank you.